Hey, it's your friend Choice CJ here, and I'm coming to you guys with the next episode of my climb to King of Games. I got a lot of views and a couple comments on my first video, and that's really encouraging to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I'm really enjoying Duel Links right now, and recording that video was really fun. Um, so, I did do a poll on Twitter asking you guys what you might like to see in the next video, and that also got a lot of support, so thank you guys so much. Uh, I put up three options for what deck to play next. It was between Psychics, Dark Paladin, and Hammer Shark. Um, all of them are, you know, they're not top tier decks, but they're still relevant in the meta right now. And you guys chose Dark Paladin. And so we do have a uh, dual standby deck with Taya that we're going to use, as you can see here. Um, it's got Triple King of the Swamp. Obviously, not everyone's going to have three copies of this card. I was very lucky to. Uh, get some good pull luck, and uh, like pulled this within the first 60, uh, 60 cards of my first box, like and my second and my third box, and uh, like my first box, I think I got like eight ultras in the first sixty or first eighty or something like that. So it was pretty absurd. But um, this is a good fusion substitute monster, and it can also be traded for polymerization if you need it. You can substitute this out with any fusion substitute that you'd like. You just have to know that you're not going to be able to trade it for polymerization like you otherwise would be able to. Um, we're playing Triple Fusion Recycling Plant, and this is really useful because um, if you're not familiar with how Dark Paladin works, you can summon it, and then uh, anytime a spell is played, you can discard one card from your hand to negate it. And so what Fusion Recycling Plant does is that it gives you uh, one of your monsters back as the, you used as a fusion material, you add it back to your hand. So that could potentially set up a, a turn two fusion play or your next turn, but it's also really important just to be fodder for Dark Paladin because um, even though it's really potent, you know, to negate lots of trap, sorry, not lots of traps, lots of spell effects, especially against something like Cyber Angels, you're going to run out of resources very quickly if you're not careful. So getting that replenished as much as possible is very nice. Uh, we're playing Triple Mirage. Uh, I'm not like in love with this card, but it's needed and if you want if it's needed if you want to run the buster blader dragon destroyer uh which we are running two copies of as you can see down here this is uh you know something that can be used with a uh, buster blader plus a dragon type and uh it's really good versus dragons it does piercing damage so that's nice um otherwise yeah this deck is fairly straightforward like if you can go first and you can get out dark paladin versus a lot of decks you're gonna win um assuming they can't out resource you um you know it's gonna be very good versus cyber angels if you go first um, even if you go second, it's pretty good because they can't get over Dark Paladin that easily. And they basically have to uh, like get a Dakini with an Edaden Edaten boosts before she, uh, you know, before they pass to you. So um, I did play one duel with this. Uh, I mean, I've been practicing a lot. Like I think when I finished the last video, I had 23 wins. Now I have 38. I did rank up to Legend uh, two, but. I, uh, like, purposely lost a bunch of games, like, in these games here. Like, you see 9-10, 9-10, 9-12. Ten, like, I just tried to auto-lose those. Because I didn't want to, you know, rank up it off-screen. Um, because then this series would be very short. <laughs> um, obviously, you know, once I, you know, if I do hit King of Games, I can just start playing whatever I want and continue uploading videos. But I wanted the climb to be sort of special, you know, to have five or six episodes or so. You know, or, or however long it takes to get to King Games. It might take longer <laughs> um, because I'm not very good. Um, but uh, do I want to... Yeah, I think I'm just going to hop right into the PvP. I did just play a Red Eyes deck versus this guy here. Uh, no, I don't need to... Uh, I don't need to block him. <laughs> um, but uh, we're going to hop on into it and uh, see how we do. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not as familiar with this deck as I am with the Red Eyes deck that I played with in Episode 1. I've been playing that deck for like three months and uh, Dark Paladin is still relatively new, I would say. So I'm hoping that I can uh, do relatively well. And we're going to be playing Yami Bikura, so this is probably a like a Fiendish Farewell deck with Dark Necrofear. I haven't played one of these in a very long time, um, but we are going first. So like 80% of the time you do open Dark Paladin in this deck. The only thing that I don't like about this deck is that it's, oh, he's actually balanced. So if he's balanced, that means that he could very well be Cyber Angels. And um, we did open with uh, Dark Paladin. So let me do a couple things here. Trade in the Thunder Dragon. Thunder Dragon is just good as another fusion monster, but I really like it because it can, uh, you know, it gives you two cards as discard fodder um, for your for your Dark Paladin. So uh, yeah, we can fusion summon it if we want damage. 
but I, I almost like it better just for just for that. Um, it's a shame that we didn't open Fusion Recycling Plant, because now we're going to be a little light on the resources, but again, that's where it's nice to have the Thunder Dragon. So, if this is Cyber Angels, there's a good chance that we just win. Um, one thing that I'm a little worried about with this deck is that um, Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell is becoming pretty popular as a counter to Cyber Angels, but it's also a very good counter to this deck, because if they Curse Seal your Polymerization, you're SOL. There's really nothing that you can do. Uh, I've seen people suggest that you run Fusion Gate, uh, you know, as a, as a substitute, but it's tough to do that because you can't search it, and it gets rid of your Fusion Recycling Plant field spell. Uh, so we see a Boxer Control. Okay, so this is very cool. Uh, I'm a little worried about this, actually, because, um, because you know, if he's running Mirror Wall or... You know, other other trap cards that could potentially get around my uh, my Dark Paladin. I think actually I've got a good chance of just winning here um, if this goes well because I just drew my second polymerization. Um, luckily, he doesn't have any counters yet on his boxer, so I'm going to be able to destroy it in one hit. Boxer control is something I really want to play. I just don't think it's a good meta call at the moment. Um, so I'm going to play now my Mirage Dragon. So the only way now that he can uh, not lose here is if he flips Mirror Wall up right now, which is exactly what he does. So uh, not great, because now he'll be able to attack into our uh, Mirage Dragon next turn. But we did destroy uh, that Mirror Wall, basically, or he has to pay for it next turn. Um, and this is going to give him a Boxer. Uh, he's going to give his Boxer a token, which is not very... Not token, a uh, counter. So, yeah, like, the, yeah, versus this sort of deck, like, versus back row decks, we don't necessarily do that well. Um, I bet he, I bet he's gonna pay for it. I would if I were him, because, um, like, you know, I, I can't really do anything. Okay, so he decides not to pay for it. Does that mean he have a second one back, you know, on his, uh, on his face down? I guess we'll see. He summons a heavy knight. Okay, we need to get rid of that. Quickly, because that can definitely uh, screw us up because we have our huge monsters that are all special summoned. What is this? Metal Morph. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to lose this game. <laughs> uh, there's really nothing I can do about this now because he can attack over my Paladin. And um, this is, the, yeah, this is the problem with this deck is that it just doesn't have, like, appropriate protection versus something like this. Like, there's no Mirror Wall. There's no Super Rush. There's no good way to protect uh, your Dark Paladin from just basic traps. Like, yes, we have the Mirage Dragon to protect us in the battle phase, but you just saw, like, he was able to counter that very easily by uh, preemptively activating his Mirror Wall. You know, but, you know, losing versus this deck, like, I don't think this is a deck that Paladin is meant to match up well versus. So I don't feel all that bad about losing, and I don't think it's a good meta call. So I, I like that he's playing it, I just don't think it does well. Um, so I gotta hope that he doesn't have another mirror wall, and I'm going to, like, there's really nothing I can do here, because either I, um, kill his heavy knight and prevent it from banishing me next turn, or I, uh, kill his, uh, boxer and prevent him from, uh, you know, attacking over me with metal morph next turn, so, uh, it doesn't matter what I attack, I'm just gonna attack the heavy knight, or maybe it does, and I'm just making a misplay, but, um, as you can see, it doesn't even matter, because he has an econ. So yeah, we definitely lose this game. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, is it going to be now or is it going to be later? I'm just going to turn my toggle off because there's nothing that I can do. I was given the satisfaction of the win. But yeah, th that's the problem with Dark Paladin. And, you know, it just doesn't have any, like, it doesn't have any protection outside of Dark Paladin's effect itself. And um, it just runs out of resources so fast. Um, so that's definitely an issue. Um, he's actually, he's gonna be one life point, or a hundred life points shy of, uh, killing me, which is a little unfortunate, because now I have to, like, try and play again, you know, for another turn. Um, but I'm just gonna pass turn. But if we do encounter a Cyber Angel deck, and I do run into, like, 60% counter, uh, Cyber Angels, now that we're in Legend. So, you know, hopefully we'll do better the next round. Like, we opened up fairly close to ideal. The only thing that would have been more ideal is if we had a uh, fusion recycling plant. And uh, you guys see my low battery warning. So 
Um, I thought I had plugged in. I might do a quick cut to make sure that I'm plugged in. So if you guys can just sit tight, I will be right back. All right, thanks for bearing with me. We're all charged and plugged in now. So uh, we're just going to hop right back on into it. And I uh, hope we can do a little bit better that time or this uh, this next time. But yeah, so like that's why I don't think Paladin is like a really competitive deck because even if it's got a great matchup versus Cyber Angels, if it plays anything else, uh, like it's it's not gonna win uh, like at least fifty percent of the time. Um, so we're playing Taya Gardner. We'll see what she's got if she's got the dual standby as well or if she's like balance or restart or something. Um, if she's dual standby, she could be also Paladin and she does have a full fusion deck. Um, so this could be a mirror, which would be really cool. I haven't played a mirror match. Oh no, that was my dual standby. Right? Yeah, she didn't activate her dual standby, so... Um, anyway, we opened up pretty trash. This is like the worst starting hand I've ever seen uh, with this deck. Um, I'm gonna activate a Thunder Dragon effect just because I don't want to draw my next Thunder Dragon. Um, and I guess I'll summon a Mirage in attack mode. But yeah, maybe... Yeah, definitely not dual standby. Uh, I was gonna say if he's dual standby, then he could also be a uh, like a burn, not a burn deck, a mill deck. But mill decks are also not that popular anymore. Um, removing one card face down, interesting. Uh, I actually haven't seen anyone play different dimension capsule. Like a lot of games in this uh, in this meta, like a lot of duels are just too fast. Um, all right, we did get a Buster Blader. So let me play Fusion Recycling Plants. Just the question is, do I want to... Yeah, I'm going to summon Thunder Dragon. The reason being, I want to save my Buster Blader. Um, yeah, I also... Yeah, if I if he doesn't have, like, Econ or Windstorm, I can win right now. Um, so I'm going to discard my Mirage Dragon. And uh, try to get a Poly. And, uh, yeah, th I'll summon a Thunder Dragon, and I'll, I'll get another Thunder Dragon back at the end of my turn. Um, but yeah, this will allow me to potentially put game on the board before she gets whatever card to her hand. Uh, so let's do this. If it's a Windstorm, actually, she'd have to activate it right now. I realize I'm going back between he and she, <laughs> um, but that's okay. Alright, so as long as we can make it into battle phase, we survive Windstorm. All right, and uh, mirror wall. Okay, uh, that's fine with me. So, what this does allow us to do is get off, um, you know, enough damage that he can't pay for the mirror wall next turn. We waste the mirror wall so he can't protect any monsters with it. Um, so I'm very okay with with how this played out. So that's really nice. But yeah, basically next turn I need to draw a King of the Swamp or a uh, Dark Magician, which I do have a 50% chance of doing. But yeah, I'm really glad that uh, we were able to get rid of that Mirror Wall. That's really nice for us. I still have no idea what deck this is. I really don't. Alright, we did get a King of the Swamp. So what do we do here? Um, Alright, I think we discard Thunder Dragon uh, for Polly. Uh, so let's do that, so that way we can get Dark Magician on the board. And uh, we'll take from the deck. And uh, we'll go ahead and activate. And uh, this game might be over. So we'll go ahead and see. Yeah, like, you know, it's nice that we can see our deck recovering from a bad start like that. Like, we drew pretty terribly. Uh, but, you know... I might not be able to feel that good about myself because I don't know what deck that was. Like, it might have been, you know, like, Beaver Warrior, you know? I, I've got no idea what he was playing, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna be, like, too upbeat about about beating that sort of deck. So, we finally got a win. Uh, let's see if we can get a little streak going. So, who are we gonna play next? Okay, so that guy ended up uh, forfeiting, so we're going to just hop right into the next one. That does get us our uh, another ranked ticket. I don't know what I want to spend my tickets on. There's really, like, nothing great. I still have my GX celebration tickets. Oh, I can't even... I have to go back to the main screen to look at the rares. But, yeah, there's just not a lot of rare cards that I really, like, need to get with the tickets. The super rares... Uh, I guess I could get a copy of Psalm Scolding, but I just don't think it's... Uh, like, it's, it's not like it's going to be the next Mirror Wall or anything. It's not splashable. And uh, it's not 
good at um, at anything more than one, really. But if you're running it at one, you know, it's it's not worth it. So, cool, we did get Buster Blader and Dark uh, Magician. We're playing a Seto Kaiba, so that means it's probably beat down, which means it's probably Red Eyes. So, we'll find out in a moment here. We'll go ahead and activate our Poly. And uh, get this guy out. I don't think that uh, that uh, Dark Paladin is all that bad versus Red Eyes. But they do have a lot of good protection. You know, they they usually run two copies of Mirror Wall. Some of them run Metamorph. Um, you know, Metamorph's good for stuff like, I guess, Hazy Flame? I don't really know. But yeah, usually they, uh, the, they do run the Mirror Walls. You know, and if they get two red eyes out, they can pump up bigger than your Dark Paladin. But hopefully you can negate stuff like Insight, prevent them from getting spirits. And if you can prevent them from getting spirits, uh, you can prevent them from, uh, you know, getting out those monsters. And uh, you'll keep your Dark Paladin as the biggest monster on the board. Did he even draw yet? It doesn't look like it. Here we go. Draw. Yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't know what, like, uh, like what he could have in his hand that... Uh, takes so long that, you know, I guess he's just literally waiting that long to swipe to draw, because it's not like there's any effects for him to activate that it's asking him about. Alright, so playing cards of the redstone, I am going to go ahead and negate this, because that ends up being a minus two for him. Like, yes, he does get the, uh, the red eyes in the grave, which is what he wants. I hope I don't regret putting the thunder dragon in the grave. Um, I, if I want I want to keep my Buster Blader in case I draw. Yeah, I probably should have discarded the Buster Blader, because if I draw Polly or King of the Swamp next turn, like I'm gonna want to. Um, all right, well I guess now it's moot because I'm gonna I'm gonna negate this uh, this insight. It's interesting. He's playing a Red Eyes build that's not balance, um, but he's got uh, cards of the Red Stone. You don't usually see that very often anymore. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and negate this too, because I don't want him to get... Uh, I don't want him to get a spirit. If he doesn't spell summon this turn, he will get out of red eyes on the next turn, but... Um, yeah, so like you can see here the issue with this deck. Like I've been negating all of his cards, but he still has card advantage. <laughs> so... Um, I don't, yeah, I could, maybe I could have let the cards of the red stone go, but I don't really regret this. Like, I still think it was the right thing. Like, I don't want him to get his plays going. Um, so presumably he drew, uh, or I guess it could be a mirror wall face down, but it's most likely a spirit. Um, so let's see how this goes. Let's play a mirage dragon. Yeah, he is being asked to respond to it, so I bet it's a spirit. And it's, his face down is probably a uh, goblin zombie, if I were to guess. Battle. It's a shame that uh, we're not going to be able to get, like, 100 more points of damage this turn. I feel pretty comfortable attacking with a Mirage Dragon, unless it's another Wyvern. It is a Wyvern. Alright, so that was a little bit of a, of a misplay. I, I, you know, I just robbed myself of 1,600 damage. But, like, if it was a goblin zombie, then, uh, you know, I put him very close to, to lethal. My turn's over. Yeah, so is that not a spirit then? Like, if it's a spirit, he would have activated it before the battle phase. Draw. Otherwise, it could be, like, that's why, that's why I'm wondering if it's Metal Morph. So I think even if I get a polymerization here, I don't think I'm gonna activate it. I guess we'll see. I'll try and go into the battle phase and see what he does. And if he activates his spirit, um, then I can. Okay, so he is gonna. This stinks because it's actually gonna uh, depower my dark paladin. He's gonna get out his zombie. 
yeah, what I was gonna say is like, you know, try and go to battle phase. If he then um summons red eye spirit, I can then pause and I can fuse. So I do get fusion recycling plant, which doesn't actually help me this turn. Um, so anyway, I think we're just gonna go right into uh, main phase or uh, to battle phase because there's nothing else I can do. Let's battle. And uh, yeah, we'll just attack with our paladin. Again, this is where I'm pretty bummed that I attacked into a wyvern. I activate enemy controller. Hopefully, he tribute takes. That would be awesome. They're just gonna try and change my attack position. Um, I don't think I'm gonna let this go through. Just the question is, then what do I discard? Do I discard the Buster Blader or the Fusion Recycling Plant? Um, it's a tough call. Uh, I am going to... Because I've got five polys, basically, in the rest of my deck. No, I've only got four because I already used one on turn one. I'm going to get rid of Fusion Recycling Plant. Alright, now we got a little damage on the board. If we had uh, made the right play versus that Wyvern, as you can see, we'd be within one turn of lethal, but... What can you do? Does he really not have any, uh, does he really not have any spirits? I guess not. I mean, if he doesn't have any spirits, it's fine with me. Like, that's why we did all that negation, so that he couldn't draw into spirit. Or you couldn't add it to his hand. There it is. Why didn't he activate that before? Well, now he can attack over uh, my Mirage Dragon, I'll play this. I special summon a which means I'm not safe from a Mirror Wall. It also means if I do draw Polly next turn, I can no longer Fusion Summon. Battle. Yeah, so not having that damage is going to be really bad. I attack with a monster. Um, but there's really, unless he's got a Metamorph down there... And if he did have a Metal Morph, I think he... Well, no, he just set that card, so he couldn't use it. Do I want to attack? I mean, there's no way he can... like Even if he gets out three zombies, he can't get over me. So I'm just going to wait. Because I want to have a backup in case that's a Mirror Wall. I don't want to leave myself completely open, because then I lose. So let's, let's hope that this works out. I still have four Polys in the deck. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I haven't drawn a King of the Swamp yet. Because, so then we have a 40% chance of getting out another Dark Paladin next turn is what I'm trying to get at. And if we can get out the next, next Dark Paladin, even if he kills one with Mirror Wall, or, you know, whatever else, we'll we'll be okay. We'll have a follow-up. But yeah, I don't, I can, we can't afford to, to make... You know, to overextend right now. And uh, this guy's thinking very hard about what he wants to do. I do. I just wonder what his face down is. Not the new face down, the back row. So it doesn't seem to be Metal Morph. So then, so this is where... See, I still kind of feel like I don't want to do anything. Because if it's Mirror Wall, then I'll summon Mirage Dragon, he'll flip it face up, and I can't do anything. He just attacks me next turn. So I'm going to wait again. Like, it kills me to be patient here, but I just can't afford to lose my Dark Paladin. And this is very hard for me to do. I'm used to Red Eyes, which is just sort of like, go, 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 go. Like, <laughs> attack as much as possible. Go as fast as possible. But this deck is not as forgiving. So he flips up a Gazuki. I guess that was, a, that was a mistake on my end. I should have attacked the face down at least. Well, no, it's not that bad. Because if it was Mirror Wall, he could activate it. And then he could attack over my face down. Or, sorry, he could attack over my Dark Paladin if he pays for Mirror Wall. So, yeah, I, I don't think it was a mistake to... Watch I, I still don't think it was a mistake. Alright, so he still can't get over me, even though he's got two red eyes out. Um, so let's see what we get here. Alright, we do get our second poly. 
So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to summon Mirage Dragon. See if I can bait the mirror wall. He's got something that I can respond to. Um, do I add the poly to my hand? I think I do. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna summon the next, uh, the next Dark Paladin now. Yeah, that should be, that should be good. If it's not Mirror Wall, I do think this is game. Ooh, but what if it's an Econ? If it's Econ and then I fusion summon, I don't have any fodder left in my hand. Um, and he, but he can lethal me next turn. I could do uh, Buster Blade or Dragon Destroyer. Let's do that. Well, no, that won't work if he's Mirror Wall. Don't want to negate. Yes, yeah, so I'm not sure that I'm really happy with this play, but let me think about it. Um, do I go for another Dark Paladin? If I go for another Dark Paladin, that's fine, even if it's Econ. That's not a disaster. Because, I mean, all that's going to do is it'll allow him to kill uh, my Dark Paladin, one of my Dark Paladins next turn. Okay, so let's see. Sorry for for that swipe there. Okay, so it's not Econ. I think we win. Yeah, so sorry for playing that patiently. I just wanted to be 100% sure that we could win. I think that that was the correct choice. And even though I think there's only been like three duels on screen like, that I've played so far, and only two of them have been on screen, uh, I'm going to make this my last duel just because this has been a long episode so far. Or we're saving it to be a long episode, depending upon how long this the one is. Um, one. Yeah, okay, so we only have a three-game streak. Maybe, maybe if I win this, then I will go ahead and play a, a fifth one, because that would then be my... Pretty sure that this might be my rank-up match. I don't think it's this one. I'm pretty sure you need five in a row. And, of course, one of them was a, uh, a forfeit victory. I think two of them were forfeit victories. I don't remember. But we're playing Alexis Rose, which means there's a good chance that this is Cyber Angels, which is what I've been waiting for. Um, and we do go second, which actually isn't bad. I don't, I don't hate that. So she's balance. Uh, we do have Buster, or we do have a uh, Dark Paladin in our hands. So let's see what she goes for. And we did get Fusion Recycling Plant, which is pretty nice. The only way that this would be better is if one of these uh, Buster Bladers or one of the or the Mirage Dragon was a Thunder Dragon instead. All right, Sonic Bird, it is Cyber Angels. This is the whole reason I'm playing this deck is to beat Cyber Angels. You know, and I say that like I'm not going to be playing Cyber Angels in like one or two episodes from now. Let's go ahead and draw. We even get a second Fusion Recycling Plant. How funny is that? Um, neither of them are my glossy ones, but, you know, what are you going to do? But yeah, this is, this is pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to discard a Buster Blader to add Polly, and then I'll fuse and I'll add the uh, Buster Blader back to my hand uh, in the end phase. And it's nice, you know, that, that they didn't set any face downs or anything. You know, there's no Curse Shield or Forbidden Spell that I have to worry about. Yeah, like, I don't see how I can lose this now. Unless it's, um, it says he have Sphere Karibo. It does have Sphere Karibo. This has some Ritual Monster effects. Sorry for the low battery warning. I'm definitely plugged in right now. Um, okay, so we'll end. Um, we'll add a mo thing back. So I still don't think that there's a way that... I don't think that there's a way that, that, that this player can come back. Because without fusion summoning, they don't have any way to get over Dark Paladin. Like, they can try an Econ Take, but that doesn't really do anything. The only way would be if she has, like, four uh, four fusion monsters or some, or, or four fusion spells. You know, more than I can negate. Okay, cool. So, uh, we'll change this to attack mode. 
uh, activate effect. So I think, you know, depending upon the number of... Depending upon how many Sphere Karibos this person's got, um, I think we can win right here. Um, so let's discard Fusion Recycling Plant to add... Oh, I should have added the one from my deck. That was a mistake. Um, but now we can Poly for Thunder, Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. You know, and I don't... I hope I'm not overextending here. I don't think I am. You know, once we put Mirage Dragon on the field, we should have more than enough for lethal. And we still have, uh, we still have two negations left. Yeah, so this is an easy win. Nice! Beating the most meta deck very, very easily. Turn four, no damage taken. This is the reason we play this deck. This is the reason that we play this deck. So, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to go ahead and play my final episode, or uh, my, my final match. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, so, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm going to try and uh, rank up to Legend 2 just off-screen here. And uh, you guys will be catching me in the next video. I'll probably do another Twitter poll because I really enjoyed interacting and um, seeing all the, the different results. And, um, I, you know, if you have any suggestions for what you might like to see me play, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'll do my best. I don't have every deck, but I do have uh, quite, a, quite a decent collection at this point. Um, so try to make it happen. Thank you for watching. Make sure you check out the channel for other gaming and Pokemon content. And until the next time, I'll catch you guys later.